Mother's Day is right around the corner. It can be fun to find out what traits can be passed down from your mom. Ancestry genealogist Krista Cohen joins us to give us some insight on it. Hi, Krista. How are you? I'm doing so well. Thank you for having me. I'm very excited for this because most recently I've been joking with my mom that one of the many traits she passed down to me was my huge forehead, and I keep <laughs> messing with her about it. So other than the big forehead that she has given me, what traits are most likely to be passed down from our mommies? Well, my mom gave me light sensitivity, which I'm not <laughs> thrilled about. But if you've ever heard that maybe you have your dad's eyes or mm -hmm. your mom's exotic palate for food, or if there's something um, that you don't like or something that you love, you just might be able to credit a specific parent, whether it's a physical trait you can see or a behavioral or personality trait that you can't see. DNA holds more information than a lot of people realize. I didn't realize that because when I think of DNA, I think of like the physical things. I didn't think of like, for instance, hangriness is a fun trait that I saw and it might be in some of our genetics. So what are some other fun traits that we might get that we don't realize actually comes from our DNA? Yeah, you know, there are currently 43 traits available when you take an Ancestry DNA test from dancing skill to caffeine sensitivity, cilantro aversion, yeah. of course, things like eye color and hair color, but also risk taking propensity, even whether you're a morning or a night person, night person here. <laughs> Um, and with the test, you can identify exactly whether that trait came from mom's side or dad's side. Yeah, so I love tea because my mommy and I are always having tea parties, but how much of us like loving something is us being exposed to it and how much of it is responsible for the DNA portion of it? Yeah, that's a great question. We can see things in your DNA that would give you a propensity towards something, but you're correct. Your environment then plays an additional role in that. So there are some people who, for example, have a, a genetic propensity for musicality, but never learn to play an instrument just because they've never been exposed to that or had that opportunity. Yeah, so you talked about how you said your mom gave you um, light sensitivity. What are some other fun things that your mom gave you that you didn't really think about? You know, it's, it's so funny because I have to actually tell on my dad to explain <laughs> this. My dad apparently has a gene that makes cilantro taste like soap to him. Okay. Which which just breaks my heart because I love cilantro. Turns out my mom does too. <laughs> what? I think it's crazy because one thing I love about, I took the Ancestry um, DNA kit and like my mom and I were looking at it and she was so excited to be able to see like, I wonder what you got from your, um, for me and I wonder what you got from your dad. So how can taking the Ancestry DNA kits like bring our families closer together? Yeah, you know, it's such a fun experience. And I did this with my family recently where um, I have taken the Ancestry DNA test, both of my parents have tested, and I was able to compare with them. Mm -hmm. But your parent doesn't have to test. My parents were then able to see what they inherited from each of their parents, even though my grandparents are long deceased. And so that was kind of an interesting conversation because, because I tested two generations. I didn't just get to see what I inherited from mom or dad. I also got to see what I inherited from which grandparent. Yeah, so um, one thing I do want to know is I recently went home and um, I, there was something on my mom's dresser that I made when I was a little kid. So I want to know, is there anything that you made your mom and you were like very surprised that she kept it years later? You know, I used to do a little bit of creative writing when I was a kid. Okay. And I have, have a sneaking suspicion she's got a little folder of that tucked away somewhere. Oh. <laughs> well, where can we go? It for wasn't very good. <laughs> <laughs> well, where can we go for more information? If you just go to Ancestry.com on any web browser or download the free Ancestry mobile app, you can order your Ancestry DNA traits kit and kickstart your family history process. Well, perfect. Thank you so much, Krista, for joining us today. Absolutely. Thank you. Kevin Polkey is in next for Tuesday Tips. We'll be right back.